YouTube, Gamer Dad here. <clears throat> we are on video number 20 in our 2D Space Shooter tutorial series. I know the last of uh, the enemy class was, took forever, man. I had to break it up into four videos. Uh, I'm uploading the third video right now, and then uh, that should be done so shortly. And then after I'm done recording this, I'll upload the fourth video and this one. So uh, hopefully the, this video, which we're going to be working on our HUD, which is you know our heads-up display, which is going to display like our score to the screen and uh, eventually what power-ups we have active and stuff like that, okay? Um, but, uh, yeah, like I said, so the two uh, enemy videos, uh, all four of them will be posted by the end of the night. Uh, and then we can jump right into this one. We got some exciting videos coming up. I, man, I've been doing a lot of testing. Uh, so we got, I already got three classes tested, uh, which uh, they are the HUD, which we'll be working on tonight, uh, which will handle our text and everything that we display on the screen. Um, and then uh, the next one we're going to do after this is going to be our explosion class, which is going uh, to—it's going to be working on some animated sprites, so that uh, when we shoot our asteroids and our enemy ships, they'll you know explode and it'll look cool. And then after that, I'll be doing a sound manager class, which will be handling all our sound effects and stuff like that. Okay, so with that, let's get started and uh, let's create a new class. So. Uh, also, before we do that, I did update, um, I threw some new art in the art assets folder that you guys have in, in the links to all my videos, uh, in my, com in my uh, descriptions, so uh, and that just goes right to my Dropbox link, so it's updated every time I throw something in there, alright, just so uh, if you're, if you haven't downloaded the graphics from uh, the last enemy uh, videos, uh, go ahead and re-download those so you have the stuff we need for the next couple videos, alright, uh, let's create a new class. Uh, right click your project over here in the Solution Explorer and add a class. We're just going to call this HUD, all capital letters. Because HUD, it's like a, you know, just like a first person shooter or like old old 2D games, the HUD is just, uh, it's, it's uh, short for heads up display so you can see stuff on the screen, okay? But you guys are gamers, so you probably already know that. Uh, we'll just take uh, our using statements uh, from our player class again, copy those, throw them over in our HUD, um, make the class public like we normally do, and then we can get started on our variables. Okay, first we're going to start with a couple of uh, public ints. Uh, first one, uh, public int, we're going to call um, player score. Really all that we're going to be using the HUD for right now is um, just displaying our player score. Uh, and we'll be adding stuff to this in the future as we uh, find the need to like uh, display more things on our, s our screen for, for informational purposes or for whatever. Um, okay? Um, and you know how I mentioned the uh, last video that uh, I never made variables for like screen height and screen width? You know, we kept hard coding stuff in there, the actual number that our width of our screen was and stuff. Well, since this is the HUD class and we're going to be probably referencing the screen width and height quite a bit to be placing our text in certain areas, we'll make variables for those in here, okay? So we'll have another int called screen uh, width and another int called screen height, okay? And then we're going to have a public sprite font. Um, this is where we're going to be getting into our fonts. So it's just sprite font. And we're going to call um, that player score. Player score font. Okay. And then uh, we got our screen height and screen width. We're going to need a public vector 2. And we're going to call that player score POS for position. And then a um, public bool, which we probably won't use right away, but a public bool called um, show HUD. Um, there might be, uh, what I'm thinking is like, you know, some people don't really want to see all that text on the screen all the time, might get in the way of your enemies and stuff like that. Uh, what we can do is I'll probably later on uh, make like, a, you know, the tab key to toggle the, the HUD to show or, or um, uh, show or not show. So uh, I just uh, thought that might be helpful later on. Okay, so we'll start with our constructor as usual. So that's public... HUD, it won't take anything. And then we'll set our variables above to our defaults. So player score, we're going to have start at zero. Obviously, because when we start the game, the player score is just going to be zero. We'll have uh, show HUD equal to true. 
because we want it displayed when we start the game, at least for now. Screen height. We will set to, well, depending on what you set, if you go into your game one, depending on what you set your screen, uh, your game uh, graphics uh, window, you know, your game window to that, those sizes, that's what we're going to set them to here. So my width is 800, my height's 950. So screen height is 950. Screen width is 800. Okay, and then we're going to say player score font. We're just going to put that to null right now just to set it so it, we don't have any, um, you know, um, object is, you know, object reference uh, errors. And then uh, player score position, we will just set right here. And uh, I'm going to try and put it somewhere near the center of the screen. So we'll say new vector 2. Um, we'll say screen width divided by 2 and then we'll just put it 50 pixels down from the top of the screen okay and this is I'm not I haven't really looked into it that much but I'm not sure if there's a in X and A if there's a way you can get the length of a text string and subtract that because then we would be able to do that and put it in the screen width divided by 2 and subtract you know the um, the text width uh, divided by 2 and we'd be able to center it perfectly but I'm, I haven't looked into that yet but if I find out that we can I'll update us in a future video okay but until then, we just need to play with the variables till we get the text to display where we want it. All right, that's it for our constructor. Uh, next one's going to be our load content. So public void load content, um, game content, or um, content manager content, just like our other load content functions. And then in here uh, is where we're going to set our score font. So player, well actually what we'll do first is we need to, um, I don't know if any of you guys watched my Pong uh, clone tutorial uh, series, but we went over on how to display text to the screen. If you didn't, I'll go over it in detail right now. So uh, when you create a variable for a sprite font, um, you need to have, you need to add a sprite font uh, that you want to use to your content over here. So um, you're going to right click your content, add, and instead of going existing item, you want to add a new item. And then you'll select sprite font in here. Just delete the name completely in the bottom. And then uh, normally what I'll do is I'll name the sprite font the because uh, what you do is uh, you can use any font that is available in your um, system 32, your Windows system 32 fonts folder. Uh, so if there's a font that's installed on your system, it's going to look there. Okay. So um, I, I'm just going to use the font Georgia because it's normally what I use when I'm testing. Um, so I'll just call it Georgia. All right, then we'll add that sprite font. And then what it's going to do is it's going to, over here in your, um, in your window, it's going to open up uh, a sprite font, like a, an XML like a sheet here. And by default, it's always going to say, at least for me it does, it's going to say Sago UI Mono. It's going to give you that font by default, okay? And basically, you need to spell the font um, case sensitive uh, exactly how it's spelled in your Windows System 32 folder. So Georgia is capital G. Georgia, and I know that just from using it a lot in previous. Then you can set your font size right here. I'm just going to set it to 20. Uh, spacing is just if you want to space out the distance between the characters and your words. Uh, I'm not. Um, I'm just going to use the regular style. You can select between like bold, italic. Like some fonts won't support a regular style. Um, for example, um, I can't think of any off the top of my head, but it'll let you know uh, if it doesn't support it, okay? So uh, just make sure you put your font name in there exactly how it is in your System32 folder, uh, your font folder in Windows, how it's spelled there, and then you can change the size to whatever you want. So then make sure to save it off, then you can just close that out. Okay, so now in our content manager, then all we do is we say um, our player score font, because um, any anytime you want to add different fonts, we're just, we can just create different sprite fonts. Like let's say you want, um, you know, you're going to want to have your game name displayed up there, and you don't want it to be the same font as your player score font. You would just create another sprite font variable called, you know, um, game name font or something, and then you just load another font type down here for it. Okay? So player score font equals content.load, and it's, it's a sprite font, and it's called, I just named it Georgia. Okay? 
and that's it. So our content, that's all we need for our content. Because like I said, all we're going to be doing right now with our HUD is displaying our player score. Okay. Um, next, next method will be our update. Public void update. Uh, game time. All right, and in our update function, we want to, just for now, um, we're not going to be using it right away, but we're just going to say, um, we're going to put a key state in here uh, so that if we ever do want to use the tab key to like toggle our HUD, showing it, turning it on and off, we'll, we'll need to reference a key state. So we'll just say keyboard, um, get keyboard state, and this will update every frame, obviously, because it's, up, it's the update function. Um, so it'll be keyboard state. And I normally just call them key state equals new keyboard dot. Um, well, it's just equal keyboard keyboard dot get state. Okay. And all this is doing on this line, it's just like our what we did in our player class, is it's just uh, you can use key state to reference different keys in the keyboard, and then it'll update your key state every frame. Okay. So that's all we're going to put in our update for now. And last but not least, uh, like, like always, is our draw function. Public void draw. That's sprite batch. OK. And so what we're going to do here is, here, I'll comment this. We're going to say, if we are showing our HUD, so basically, um, if show HUD equals true, which we do have it set by default, then display our HUD or, you know, like our text to the screen. So, um, so then basically we're just going to say, um, if show HUD, then we're going to do our draw and it's going to be a draw string this time because we're drawing text to the screen, right? So it'll be sprite batch dot draw string. And this takes um, a sprite font, the text that you want it to display, a position for that text, and then a color for that text. So our sprite font, we load it up above. It's our player score font. Um, the string, um, it has to be in quotes. You'll just say uh, um, score space, um, right? So because it's just going to be our score. And our vector2 position will be our player score pipaz for position and I'm just going to make it red color dot red so it shows up on the screen nice okay so and actually we can cat this um, cause we can say uh, score and then um, plus uh, player score okay so it's going to take our current uh, player score which is zero right now and can cat it and put it right next to where it says score score dash space. Okay? That's it. That is it for our HUD.